hats off to Houston. They played a great game. Um, they had a good game plan. I think we did as well. Uh, it was a hot one, but like Coach Bloomgren said, I think we made a big jump from last week to this week. We, uh, we got in the film room on Sunday, as we're going to have to practice tomorrow. Um, we're going to have to learn from our mistakes and grow as a team, uh, each position group, and to that, start preparing for Hawaii tomorrow. I'll open it up to questions. How are you feeling right now compared to uh, at the end of the Purdue game? I feel a lot better. Um, didn't take as many hits, or at least vicious hits, as I did last week. But um, at the same time, I had to step out of the game in the third quarter, which I really wish I hadn't to. But caught cramps. They weren't really going away. Um, <coughs> Just something I got to do better is hydrate throughout the week and make sure that that doesn't happen so I can be out there for the team and be able to lead. So I feel good, though. Sean, they, we, we averaged a good four, five, five and a half yards on, uh, on first down in the first half, but it seemed like every time it was first and 10 uh, in the second half, we'd pick up a yard. And uh, I just wonder, first of all, how, how that uh, affected your your. Your, your play calling from there on out and how I limited it and, and, and what U of H did, if you can point out anything to, to limit you that way. Um, I mean, I think they did well, a good job at halftime making adjustments. Um, they knew what we wanted to do and they started making adjustments on first and second down. And then we would get ourselves into third and medium, third and long, and that's not where you want to be. And so we had a couple conversions there early on in the second half, but <clears throat> I think to your point, that's really where we got to be better is on first and second down, is being able to pick up a couple yards so we can get in third and manageable like we did in the first half and we score points. So I think it's just a understanding what we need to do and execute it better and then know that they're going to also game plan and scheme up some things. So just it's a chess match really out there. Can you talk about your comfort level with some of your uh, big receivers, Brandon Harmon, and just in the end zone and the red zone? How, how nice is it that you can just throw it up and trust that you're going to be able to? That's awesome. Uh, both of those guys are playmakers. Um, to reiterate what Coach Bloom said, I don't think we've seen the best of Aaron Cephas. I don't even think we're close. Uh, I personally don't think I've seen the best of him, but in training camp, he's made some plays where it's like, wow. So when you got two guys like that, not only in the red zone, but just out in the field, um, capable of just making a play, and uh, really just our job is to give him a chance. That's what Coach Picasso always says all the time, is, hey, just give him a chance, and the dude's going to go make a play. Uh, like we had in, in the... Uh, the last drive for the first half, we got a pass interference call. I mean, really, that's, that's all they can do is, is grab and hold and hope that he doesn't make a play. So I, it's, uh, it's fantastic having those guys out there. When you, uh, I didn't catch everything you said, but when, you, when you're looking at Ed Oliver on the other side of the line, what are you thinking? He's another dude. I mean, he's a great player. Hats off to him. But at the same time, we got dudes as well. I mean, I think Shea Baker did a great job today. Um, containing him. I think our offensive line did a phenomenal job of keeping me clean. I really didn't take any big hits, like I said. Um, and so, but I mean, he's a great player. Uh, I think we had a good game plan and we, we executed well. Is it any more painful you because you're, you're, you're up 27 24 late third? You had a great shot and it gets away. Does that make it any more painful? Yeah, I mean, I think anytime we lose, it's painful. And I think everybody in that locker room expected to win that game coming out of halftime. I mean, we all knew we had a chance, and we all knew we wanted to win the game. We had the lead. And so I think, yeah, anytime you have a lead and you end up losing that lead and you lose the game, it's going to be disappointing. And at the end, at the same time, if you lose, it's going to be disappointing. So, But like Coach said in the locker room, nobody can hang their head. We made a good jump from week one to week two, and now we're moving forward on to Hawaii. What was the feel uh, at halftime? A lot of confidence. We had just gone down two-minute drive scored a touchdown to take the lead back, and we were getting the ball. <clears throat> Offense was saying, hey, defense, keep doing your job. We got you. And the defense was saying, hey, keep putting up points, and we'll take care of the rest. So, But obviously, that didn't happen. We uh, kind of sputtered on offense, and they made some plays on their offensive side. So, But I think there's a there's a, a confidence that wasn't necessarily there before that we had at halftime. So. Did the offense get discouraged at all by the missed field goals? No. We have Jack Fox's back. Um, we have our kickers back. Uh, we know. We see in practice they hit those all the time. And in reality, we should be scoring touchdowns. That's what we do when we get into the red zone and pass the 50. We're trying to put up seven points versus three. And so when it comes to it, we know that we have trust in them and they're going to make their field goals. So no, there wasn't really any uh, disappointment or shun of the kickers. No.